San Miguel Academy is in its 10th year to defy the odds of poverty. Three years ago, we started out on a journey to find a better way to engage our boys by changing what a classroom looks like both inside and outside of the school. PBL Squared is our take on project-based learning and place-based learning. Over the past three years, we have developed partnerships with various environmental education organizations. Through these partnerships, we have created a hands-on environmental education program that enhances our students' life experiences, critical thinking skills, and collaboration abilities. Students are engaged throughout the entire process, both in school and outside of school. The use of iPads in the classroom has been key to the development of our individualized curriculum. In math, students are able to work at their own pace using programs such as 10 Marks and Khan Academy. For ELA, students use the program Light Sail, which has shown dramatic increase and in confidence in the boys' reading ability throughout the year. In 2014, we joined the International Boys School Coalition Action Research Team. Through this, we explored how a making curriculum could further increase student engagement throughout the school year. This is my 8th grade senior project. It's, um, it's a maker line following robot and we also had to program an Arduino. As you can see, we did scripting. Throughout the year and into the summer, the boys worked on various projects which focused on collaboration and teamwork. Throughout these experiences, the students developed a sense of grit and determination as they had to complete their projects with their team members. As the year progressed, we introduced the boys to new technologies such as 3D printing and hydroponics. The boys not only selected what to plant, but they built the entire hydroponic garden on their own. As the boys' curiosity grew, so did the variety of projects they created. Groups of boys were able to develop video games using Raspberry Pi and Scratch, while others were able to build touchscreen tablets and laptops. As the students completed their projects, they decided to host a maker fair in which they could showcase their work to the rest of their students and local college professors. These interventions help the boys who develop 21st century skills to help them be successful and the confidence to get back up if they do ever fall down throughout their educational career.